Hey, what's going on, guys? In this video, I have an unboxing. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. So the, in here is the highly anticipated Moyu 5x5 Outrong. I'm getting this pretty late uh, because before Lightake was supposed to send me this as uh, for testing, but then the holiday season or something came in, and then after the holiday season. Um, there was it was out of stock, so I just told them to skip it, and I just bought mine from the SEMU store. So here is the usual awesome SEMU pouch. I just love these. Anyway, moving on next. Okay, so that's the uh, Outrong, and here is a. I think it's a screwdriver. Uh, I think it's a mini Moyu screwdriver. I think that's what it's called. I'm not pretty sure. So just gonna keep that away and this away as well. Um, so this is my first time I'm actually getting the new Moyu box, and I'm gonna be getting the Shangsha skew, Moyu skew, Aolong version two, all that stuff later on. I just told him to send this one as soon as possible. Uh, I actually bought this one uh, around a week ago. And now I've got it because he just shipped it four to five days ago. Anyway, so this is the box. Uh, it has a negative space. Uh, information, information. I really like this new cool design. It's actually a. Uh, if you've seen my Zwan Feng unboxing, it has a similar design to the Cyclone Boys boxes. So this is a pretty new structure, and I hope it's easier to open from the last ones. I guess they actually hurt us say stuff about that the box is anything this is torn I didn't really notice that anyway I'm just gonna open this up because I'm really really excited okay so this is the pamphlet I'm just gonna take a quick look because if there are new puzzles coming in then I am very excited okay I think it's the usual one that you got with the mini how long oh no there's a new puzzle over here as well so I'm not really sure if you can see that but it's pretty long uh, at the bottom, you can see the more you eye, evil eye, I guess, and over here is the 13 by 13, and there's a new puzzle right there in the between. Anyway, no one wants to see that. I am just gonna go to the first turns of the more you 5x5 Outrun. Oh my god, this is so exciting! I know it's really late, but still, I'm sorry about my voice as well. Um, pretty, my throat is pretty screwed up. Anyway, let's go. Um, it feels a bit looby on the green side and the red side and the other is pretty dry alright so alright so it is turning like the Moyu Aosu out of the box um, okay I'm not really sure what to say about that right now okay so it is like a fangshi Aosu feeling uh, but after breaking it in, obviously it will like become really really smooth like the house, I hope. So I'm just gonna do this once more. I'm not really good at 5 x 5 Actually, I'm not good at it at all. Uh, I never even got a cut off once on the 5 x 5 uh, I don't really speak cube or I don't really practice all that much. But I think I should start practicing because... I need to become faster and so that my reviews get even better. Anyway, so right now I can say that this is pretty smooth and I'm just doing the outer layers right now. We're gonna be doing the inner layers as well. Alright, so the inner layers are pretty nice as well. Um, we go ahead and do that. So, I've seen a ton of videos on the Outron and there's some inner layer problem when you're like supposed to corner cut. Well, I don't think it's there in mine. It, it is pretty smooth. Um, so the basically the first batch had a, like a lot of problems, but the second batch doesn't have those problems all that much. I'm not pretty sure what those problems were, but I'm pretty sure one of them was the inner layer locking thing, and I think it's fixed in this one. So the Moyu logo, I really admire this logo. I just like it a lot. Uh, but one thing I do not like about Moyu is the sticker quality. I'm probably gonna be changing. Uh, these look really, really nice on the cube, but um, since they're gonna slip off every now and then, I'm just like gonna replace them with the Shangsha Florian Moyu shades that I got from the cubicle. Uh, I really like the 
Florian uh, Florian cuts on all of my cubes. So yeah, right now all I can say about this is that there is no corner cutting right now. It's just a bit, but I don't even think you need it. In this, um, probably after breaking in, it'll, it will be a lot better, and I will be making a review of this as usual because I'm gonna be making a review of every puzzle I have. <sighs> um, LLAs are good as well. I'm just gonna do one checkerboard pack here just to make the video longer because people like long videos. I mean, yeah, most of my videos do. Alright, so that looks pretty neat. So I did actually Florian mod my 5x5 and that turned out to be pretty sucky so I bought a new 5x5 and I Florian modded that as well and that too turned out pretty sucky. So I'm not really good at Florian mod and I'm glad this is in my hands now and obviously it's gonna be my new 5x5 main and I'm gonna be start practicing 5x5 more. Um, also Mo you came out with the new Pyraminx and they're going to, they're, they're like um, picking testers for it so I just hope I get one. Because I really, really want something from them for free. <laughs> oh, everyone knows I love free stuff. Anyway, uh, this was sort of a lot of... This was like a talkative unboxing. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, this puzzle is great. Uh, I'm going to be obviously comparing this to the Shengsha 5x5. And I'm also going to be making a separate review of this. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please hit, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more unboxing reviews and news related to cubing. Thanks guys, have a nice day.